títulos. Yo, yo tampoco. ¿Y tú qué? ¿Qué se decir? ¿Qué se dice? Sí. sí. ¿Ok? No. no. Caca. Chingado. Pipi. ¿Qué <risa> tal? <risa> <risa> Mama. Damn. Sí, I bet you listen no Spanish. Maybe you should go back and watch that course. Oh, you know I started recording, right? Oh, you did. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> We're looking for you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. What, what's in that blunt? Uh, gelato. Welcome to gelato. episode, uh, what episode is this? 18. Oh, uh, that's 18 for those of you non bilingual speakers. And I was thinking about doing that too, just like translating right after I say it in English. You know what I'm saying? And say it in spur, or vice versa, or whatever. But anyway, uh, let's let's get this started. We're, we're kind of hyped. We just watched some shit on TV that was pretty dope. Yep. Um, Watch 45. 45. Got the 45 on the waist side. And uh, I think Vino went over. Oh, he's doing something right now. I, I can multitask. Okay, because he wanted to talk. Uh, Wick, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard now. I heard that the Black Panther started Wick or the Crips, one of them. Well, I don't know who started it, but it, it, my conspiracy has to do with what it's done the to, to the communities. Okay, nah, okay, nah, okay, nah, 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 nah. My bad, my bad. Nah, my okay. So, so <laughs> basically, it, it sums down like this. Okay, Wick, and also if you go look at on the reservations, you know, on the Native American reservations, yeah. they have they have that too. They They've been they, sterilized. Yeah, yeah they, they 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 get basically Wick, but for reservations, right? And they uh, they get a bunch and. Here's my issue with the wicked. Here's what I think what, where the evil part. I get it, right? You're supposed to help out women, infants, and children, and the resident, residential people giving them food or whatever. But as a person who studies, like, you know, uh, you Nutrition. know how, how, how to take care of your body yeah. and all that shit, right? Like, the shit that most people can, are, are like, the stuff on the, on the WIC list. That is some shit that you should be avoiding. This stuff that's high in sugar, it's all processed. It's yes. like it's like full fat. It's, high fructose corn Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and you know you see it because how do most people on WIC end up? You see it, bro. They end up overweight. They end up probably with some diabetes issues, some that, heart issues. That's weird because the cheapest food is the most unhealthy. That's yes, why there's yeah. so many people that are like back in the day, like say a hundred years ago, you couldn't be fat and poor. Yeah. Right now you can be fat and poor because the shit that's the cheapest is fucking unhealthy. You know. And that's why, like a salad, cost, like a good salad, bro. If you go to a restaurant, a good salad, like at least seven dollars. But you get a little burger for a dollar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's up with that beef, son? Yeah. Why is it so fucking cheap? Well, it's not beef, first of all. For right. A you, it ain't. you ain't getting no beef yeah. for a dollar. Not even one percent of beef. You don't think? There's some kind of maybe, cow brain maybe, in there. Maybe, maybe, maybe point nine. Cow was, booty. Maybe. Remember when uh, Burger King came out with the ten nuggets for like a dollar thirty-five or some shit? Hey, yeah. when, when the comedian they made a joke that he said to eat the the cow, the, not the cow, the chicken, like chicken asshole. That part where he's a little kid, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> there was point? a comedian that did that joke. I had to, I had, I had to eat the 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 the. the, 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 the he's like, I didn't find out how I was older. But my big brother told me you eating the booty hole. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, y'all haven't heard this shit? Nah. nah. I wonder, I wonder what comedian. comedian it was. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, speaking of comedian, you hear about Chris D'Elia? He's been accused of like talking to underage girls and shit. Oh! And I don't want to believe it, bro, because I think he's a good comedian. His special, No Pain or No More Pain or some shit, was fucking fire. Um, so there's no real proof. The proof that they have that this girl put out is like these uh, tweet messages, but there's no picture of them, so they could easily be doctored. There's no 100% proof yet. Um, and what sucks is that the way the culture is, you know, a lot of times people are guilty before proven innocent. You know? Mm. So we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, I mean, I mean you can't. what's been going out the last, what, two months? It's like. That's true, too. Like, either way, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be put it past anybody. Yeah. Uh, and then I was going to ask you, I wanted to know because I finished watching Nightfall uh, season two. Mm. So it's going to stop on my theory, huh? All right. On my bag. I think you're so we'll continue on. With it. So I mean, you said it that it's unhealthy. It's yeah, like it's, but, but, it's proof that they're basically my theory is that they the, the goal was to get minorities, Native Americans, blacks, you know, poor white people, you know, poor poor Hispanic, basically, you know, basically to to, to the fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. To, to 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 make you unhealthy. Weak. So, yeah, weak. Yeah, to weaken not just you but weaken the race. It, see, it, it, it sounds very racist, right? But no, I mean that's systematic. That's the the yeah. that's the exact systematic racism. It comes from the chemicals, exactly. the food. And I, and I'm like, you know what? Everyone's this is a great awakening time. We are talking about all these conspiracies bringing them out to light. Uh, I, I, it's I, one of the most important things. I think this wick one is one that needs to be talked about. Like, like, like. Okay, you can help them out. Why can't you help them out with but better food? I mean, that's yeah. all you gotta do, bro. 
know what I mean? Like, like, why can't you add certain? Why can't you just add food to the weeklets? You know what I'm saying? Or you know, like, a little bit organic on like they, make, they, they make great value wheat. They make great value other shit. They you make great value organic. Exactly. Man, at Walmart, you, exactly. You ain't gotta get the full fat of the, the, the you know, lard. Yeah. Because then I can't give them high fructose corn syrup to get them addicted to my fatty foods, and yeah. then I can't make money. Good God. That's the point of it. Exactly. Alright, there it goes. I'm done with my theory. Alright, so what were you saying about Nightfall? Alright, so on season two Nightfall, spoiler alert to anybody who hasn't seen it, but fuck it. I mean, I get, I think it's history and shit. Um, <laughs> she was like, So at the end, uh, one of the, the Knights Templar, right? <laughs> one of the well, the main Knights Templar kills uh, King Philip, uh-huh. and then King Louis, King Philip's son, becomes the king. Is Do you know anything about the history of King Philip and King Louis and the Knights Templar or anything? France. This is medieval. This is about what? Medieval early France. 1100, cent- yeah, 11th century, 12th yeah. century? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, I haven't gone that far. Because I, I was telling him, and he, and he knew about the Pope because uh, King Philip had one of the Popes killed, but I'm sure that's happened multiple times in history. Napoleon. Yeah. Shout out to Napoleon. Napoleon had the Pope killed. Who else had the Pope killed that, from what you've learned? Do you know? <laughs> no? So it might just be like just a couple times Napoleon, and I don't know if this is factual, the story, but I should probably do some research on that. What, the Napoleon killed the Pope? No, 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 no. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> the Knights Templar and the yeah. King Philip. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a rabbit hole. Because King Philip, on the show, King Philip, he kills his wife, so the son is pissed off and shit. Give me about probably the next episode, I'll give you an answer. This but. is, uh, I forgot what you were going to say. Uh, yeah, you know, the... Fuck, I never mind, I forgot what I was going to say. And then I was going to talk about Mandela Effect. I just, I was watching a movie about the Mandela Effect. Have y'all heard about that shit? I've heard that time's going forward and it's tripping me out. It means faster. Yeah, basically. But I had no proof <laughs> or evidence for that. I'm sure there's something like with the... Uh, <coughs> feel it. Feel it. <coughs> it. Right? Feel it in my bones. Mm-hmm. This time's well, so fast. <coughs> Explain the whole Mandela effect thing. All right, for so supposedly... We don't even know what, what a Mandela effect For those who don't... Yeah. So, like, for instance, a lot of us remember the Berenstein Bears. I asked my mom this, right? And I said, how do you spell it? And she spelled it with, with Stein, S-T-E-I-N, right? But apparently it's been T A. Stain. Stain. Uh, the the Monopoly dude. For some reason, a lot of people remember him having a, a monocle. He never did, supposedly. Do you remember having a monocle? Uh, un, un, unknown cast the, member. The Monopoly guy. Do, do you, does he have anything on his face, like glasses or anything? Do you do you recall? You play Monopoly as a kid? Random cast member. No. no? I used to. I, I remember him having that, but that could just be me. Making myself, but I mean, there's other things. I remember so. having an I, I thing. I played yeah. Monopoly a couple of times when I was a kid. He was just always up. In Why couldn't it just be, you know? It's a peanuts. They peanuts. just change the name or the look throughout the years. No, but that's not what I'm talking about. So we're talking about Berenstein Bears, right? And then uh, there's other things like Jiffy Lube. But the reason that the Mandela effect Jiffy is called, Lube. or not Jiffy Lube, Jiffy Peanut Butter. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> Jiffy. Thank you for catching me. Uh, <laughs> Jiffy Peanut Butter is is not Jiffy. Oh, and then Looney Tunes. Now it's spelled T O O N S like cartoons, but it used to be T U N E S like tunes, like you listen to it. He's right, because Tiny Tunes was O O N S. I remember that, but and Looney changed. Tunes was U N E S. Right, but now they say no, it wasn't ever like that. Also, uh, look up Looney Tunes. What how you spell it? Now it's gonna tell you the the new way, the T O O N S. But the reason it's called Mandela is because in the 1980s, some people remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. Oh man. And then, but other people, he didn't die, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so what they're saying is that the, either the matrix glitch, the timeline, something happened that uh, it combined. Or now there's also this thing called CERN, C E R N, where the, the science, some scientists and governments were trying to experiment with timelines. So some people think that they just fucked up a little bit and it combined two times. Isn't CERN the ones that uh, that, that that they built the, the giant hadron the collider thing a couple years ago and they discovered they quote unquote discovered the uh, the boson Higgs boson? I don't know. Yeah, CERN is a, it's, a, it's one of those sweetest countries like white yeah, like you know Scandinavian areas. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, that's where that's where they do all the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So did you look up Looney Tunes or what? Yeah. What do you see over there, sir? How'd you spell it? Well, it's uh, U T U N E S. No, no. It used to yeah, be spelled talking. Looney Tunes, like T O O N E. But my mom remember. My mom remember it T U N E S. Me too. So that's what I'm saying. So some people remember it like one way, and that's just a tiny. I mean, if there's multiple timelines. Look, as you're asking him, the timelines are switching. And then the movie, <laughs> the movie's like a thriller, it right? Was, so his daughter comes back and forth sometimes, like glitches, like in a Matrix. It's, it's 
what it is. And then he's a he's a game designer. So he's like, oh, I can do, he meets this scientist who like makes a giant quantum physics computer and so he's trying to put a code to crash it down, but the scientist said every time he did it, would try, the system would stop him. And yeah, it's a very interesting movie. I haven't even finished it yet, because I came over here. It's called The Mandela Effect? Mm -hmm. What year is it from? Hulu, 2019. Okay, okay. That's very interesting. Yeah, bro. So I mean, I'm not saying it's true, but it's just interesting, you know, detail of another layer to reality maybe because I mean I wouldn't be surprised if God was like made us on a computer system like civilization or something like civilization if, is a video game something about yeah you know like if we're I wouldn't doubt it you know what I'm saying like if that's the level of existence we're on and then we get to succeed we get to go up to the fourth dimension which is actual existence which is after this physical quote unquote uh, but who knows? Yeah, I mean, the theory's wide open for that. Yeah. I mean, there's no only one way to find out. You can't, you can't <laughs> come back and tell. You right. know Did you want to explain the whole, you know, Bermuda Triangle thing? Oh yeah, Chris. Oh. Now nah, see, that's not a map. But you know what? I'm gonna bring a map, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it like in detail, so the people listen. All right, so let me start guessing. Shit, is that like the entrance to the like if the Earth was hollow? Nah, it has to do with the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, you know, like if the Earth was <clears> hollow. <throat> Maybe the Bermuda Triangle is the entrance to the hollow oh, earth. That's a good theory, but that's not my theory. Okay, okay. My theory has to do with Atlantis. Oh. All right. So when you look at a map. <coughs> and the world is, map. And then we look, well, let's just say you look at a map and you pop up Atlantic Ocean, you know, area, right? Which is on to the west of North America. Basically, Google Bermuda Africa. Triangle area. Google it and, and you'll find it, right? And it's right, it's right around. Romo, do you know where it is by heart by pointing it out? It's like right well, right here. It's at the points between the islands of Bermuda, from the almost the tips of uh, of uh, Florida, Florida to almost uh, the islands of New Guinea, not New Guinea, but over close to the San Juan. Not San Juan. Yeah, close to Puerto Rico. So it goes from the island of Bermuda mm -hmm. to Florida to about the Florida Pound, all the way to about right here to the Virgin Islands. Okay. And there's a triangle. Okay. Now, with the Bermuda Triangle, if you look at it, it's like a big, it's like there's nothing there, right? It's like, oh, Water. it's just crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But see, I watched that series. There's a series I watched called Fringe. And I need to put you on, too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, and yeah, in the, and in the And in the, in the series, one of the, one of the things that they're trying to do is <clears throat> go to other dimensions, go to another timeline. And one of the ways to do this is using bodies of water. But one thing that they said that they that, that that stuck with me is that these bodies of water, where you do this stuff, they retain they do it on by the water so they can retain the energy of whatever the experiment they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like so, for example, if yeah, you know, if, if if you take a lot of energy, you know, whatever needed energy, whatever energy you create, whatever the water will supposedly absorb it, but the water will also keep that energy. So if you did something like some 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 incantation, some evil spell on that water, that water would retain the energy of that black spell, black magic spell. So, right. here's my theory. So you see, here, so we, we point out to me the triangle, right? Mm -hmm. And we talk about Atlantis, obviously if you say Atlantis, it was somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. Here's oh, the Atlantic. really? Here's the Atlantic Makes Ocean. Sense. Here's the Atlantic Ocean, all right? So my theory is this, that there was some crazy ass, like, shit like experiment done on Atlantis, right? Because mm -hmm. one of the one of the reasons it's supposed to be science is because they were they were <coughs> attempting something to try and conquer another continent, right? And whatever right. they did, some little little, little spell they did went horribly wrong, and it, and, it, and it caused destruction, right? Okay, so what if because of that spell that they did right around here in this area, and it made Atlantis sink? What if? That's why that water Bermuda Triangle is cursed like that because of that evil experiment that that, that you know had evil energy and the water retained and kept that energy. So now anytime shit go, shit goes down over there, crazy shit. Pe timelines go crazy, people get lost, people get you know what I'm saying? You, you know about it. Really you know, yeah, compasses go wild, you know, like in this area, you know what I'm saying? In this area. Interesting. You know, you, and that, my, that's my theory. My theory is that down there somewhere, Atlantis is something down there. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, cause see. People will say, you know, it had to have drifted off. Right, you know, breaking off. About it, if, if you well, had, Pangea, everything was yeah, like connected. Yeah, if you had, if you had a, uh, a, a continent right here, Atlantis, yeah. right yeah, in yeah. this area, and it just fell apart, 
it's not gonna run away, but some of the <coughs> else, it's, it's, it's not gonna sink. It's gonna it's gonna drift off. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's gonna like like yeah, the yeah. way they teach us. So the even though shot. Atlantis might have been right here, it could have drifted off towards where the Bermuda Triangle happens to be now. You know what I'm saying? What if it's shaped like a fucking triangle, like the city? That's what I said too. Yeah, it's because it's, triangles are so important, in, like the pyramids. Or what if it is a giant pyramid that's down there that's causing all this shit? And that, what if that pyramid they're trying to use it to create some shit, but it failed? You know, cause you know, put on a block. Like they're trying to use a weapon. Yeah. And it, it fucking imploded on itself or some shit. So he, that this is some nuclear shit. So if we're looking at a map, this leads me to another conspiracy theory. All right, so. You talk about Pangea and how before yeah. everything goes together. All right, like puzzle. We can we can take all, all the continents, right? Yeah. Pretty much all continents and almost put them together. You can see where they go. Yeah. There is one continent that has no fit in that puzzle. Antarctica. Yes. Oh shit. Yes. You see that? Where? <laughs> where? There is no. But this is supposed to be a continent. But yet, that doesn't no fit nowhere, bro. Well, I mean, I, well, this. I mean, they try. Cause I mean, this is in all of Antarctica. No, but even when you try to connect it all, it still doesn't that even would, make you know, anything. You don't think that would go? So here is my he, he, <clears throat> here here is one of my patented theories about Antarctica. You know, some people some people will say that the Aryans crash landed here. Who knows, like tens of thousands of years ago, right? right. What if that's it? Well, what that's if, what they say. There's a wall. Well, yeah. What if what if Antarctica is not a continent, but an actual built object? Under that ice, there's like you know a spaceship or something. Yeah, you know what I'm or saying. Or a base. Yeah. Because just don't go. Or a base. There you go. Because it just don't go. It just don't go. It's like, out of place. Because there is a an operation that the U.S. Navy did back in 1945 after World War II. It happened, and it was called Operation High Jump, All where right. a few boats. It was a, a destroyer. A U.S. aircraft carrier and about I want I want to say about six to ten thousand men went down there to just they said it was a naval exploration, right? But it wasn't a naval exploration. <laughs> okay, you don't you don't take ten thousand men, a battleship, aircraft carriers and shit to what are you go saying? They're wanting to negotiate, maybe we went to go fight a battle in well, the, or just in case maybe they went to go negotiate. I'll put it to you this way. Put it to me away. They went in with a destroyer, a carrier, and whatnot, and 10,000 men. They came back with 1,000 men, one destroyer, and a couple passenger ships, and that was it. What if they made a trade for peace? Uh, the, the descriptions of what this general who was leading this this uh, expedition, right. what they call it, uh-huh. uh, he the stories that he tells is that they, they faced an enemy, in which they've never faced before, with flying aircrafts, that any... Anything that they fired upon it, they it just didn't penetrate the armor, didn't it had destroy a, it. it. Had a shield protection. Something. They didn't know what the fuck it was. Force field. So they destroyed them. They they left. Basically, they got their asses handed to them. But with the crazier thing that makes this theory even more of a of a Sorry. conspiracy yeah, yeah. is that the general who actually spoke out about this and and told people about Operation High Jump. They shot him. Now they took. They didn't shoot him. Apparently, he committed suicide by jumping from the top floor of his hospital room, opened the window, and jumped. Ah, but they threw his ass. Yeah, that's what a lot of people think. Damn. So, something's down there in Antarctica. We don't know what the fuck is down there because, well, when the U.S. went down there, they, they got their asses handed to them. And then the, the weather's so extreme, normal people can't just go explore it. Like Alaska. Alaska had a normal kind of... And in 1938... Uh, Hitler was actually doing a lot of uh, experiments? expeditions. No, oh. not experiments. He's doing expeditions down well, there's a, there's a lot in of Germany. T- type, in like, uh, Antarctica. He was into like uh, black magic and uh, price. Well, obviously we know that he was because of documents, we, documentaries we watched that he was into Satanism and shit like that. But general public knows that he was like involved with like dark arts or some shit, right? But uh, maybe he's trying to make a deal with them. I don't know. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot of theories you can take that. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I and, mean, who knows, really? But, the, but, but from what I got from it is that he sent an expedition down there. They built something down there, and I mean, if you look at the body that they recovered from what they say he burned, he shot himself and, and burned. It was actually a woman's body that they discovered. Huh. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a. So we're about to enter the age of Aquarius. So that means I'm about to become a king. Yeah. No, we are. We've been in it. Oh. We've been in it. We're in it. Like yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah we're in Aquarius. Right? We've been in it. We've been in it. But it's the age of Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Pisces, you know, it was a little while ago. Here we go backwards. On the, on the, uh, on the, the great the... year, the great year. It's like a... Yeah. Because we're going in reverse, probably. The Zodiac already went that way a couple of times. I'm going back in reverse. I know. 
Man, what the fuck? <coughs> you want to share with the class or not? We can just share with the group. Okay. Read this. Can we read out loud? Nah, cause then, cause you, I, you gotta do a lot of explaining. So little text message. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I like that. That's the crazy thing with with Hitler was that they they say he did all these things, but it's like he did a lot of exploration too, and and he did a lot of expeditions all around the world looking for something. Right. I don't know what the fuck he was looking for because you ever heard of crystal planet. skulls? Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. But who knows? They like we don't know. Yeah, I don't. We don't know what he found. <laughs> the and fucking, we know uh, he he's not. He didn't die in Germany because right. the body that was found wasn't his body. It was a woman. Exactly. Right. So, he went, he, all, all evidence, in my opinion, points that he went to Antarctica, but why down there, and why hasn't Argentina, he done anything? But it makes more sense in Antarctica. I think he probably stopped at Argentina, but then took off to, to there. Yeah. I think that was probably one of the stops. It's a long-ass trip to get there. Yeah. He probably picked up a couple Argentinian chicks and said, we're going to Antarctica, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would imagine shit, losing a fucking war like that. Yeah. But it just adds on to the mystery of what Antarctica is, and what what it could be because I've seen videos that it, it, people try to use the, the way that Antarctica is like a, it's like a wall it's like a fucking ice wall but they try to make that seem like oh that means it's flat earth but it, man I never thought about it being some kind of unearthly object yeah I mean I think there are maps or something that you can if hey, you have a submarine this might make some noise for 8 seconds sorry you can go underneath that ice you, oh yeah yeah you can go underneath the ice and, and apparently there's passageways underneath it. Like you can go inside of, of what Tunnels the economy shit. is or whatever, what's inside of it. Sorry for the crazy noise. Who knows? What the fuck? Trying to uncover some secrets to the mystery universe. Yeah. Some real crazy shit, right? Oh, what's up? Uh, <laughs> damn, bro. Well, okay. Yeah, he knows what he was looking for. What if, what if whenever that Antarctica uh, spaceship or base, whatever, landed, poof, that's what caused Pangea? Cause the continents to split. Well, there is a theory on, I mean, the theory that I was thinking about that there was a cataclysmic event mm -hmm. that Randall Carlson and Graham Hancock actually talk about that right. something happened 12, 13,000 years ago. The mass there was There was evidence that we had advanced civilizations before that time, and we also have evidence that the Sahara Desert wasn't the Sahara Desert. It was actually a vast vegeta vegetation yeah. forest and I mean, Egypt didn't look like what it looks like right. now. It was it was very well vegetated. <laughs> it was the opposite of what yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it looks completely opposite. But they, the theories go that there was nuclear, there was a nuclear experiment that went wrong over there, or right. something went wrong, and and that's why it's it's desert it still it is, to this man. day. That but, I saw with the Sphinx. The Sphinx was actually it's older than the pyramids, and it's like way bigger than because like the head was probably bigger than it was, and they just found it recently. It, yeah, they're, they're probably, like there's probably there's probably like a whole entire city buried underneath that that sand. Right, and they just found the rest of the body just kind of recently, like a few couple, maybe a hundred years ago or some shit. Yeah, and well, with that spaceship theory that I have, is like, well, what if that great flood that happened? Right. Around the whole world, that everybody talks about. Right. Uh, every religion talks about it. What if it was these these people that came? They crash landed into the water. Now my theory is that they didn't go into. They took the spaceship to Antarctica. I don't think they landed in that. They they landed in Antarctica. I think they just put it down there. Right, right, right. But my belief is that they came in, they crash landed on the Earth, somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea or a little bit of outskirts of there. They settled near the Caucasus Mountains because there's a there's stories that are told that there are certain people that came from these mountains, and they were just warring people. They just just. <coughs> 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 you never know. Right. So that that's what my theory leads me to, and then the way I've been able to get to that is by looking when when we started using you know weapons, when we started using iron and, and, and bronze and, and metal work, metallurgy basically. Right. And I started tracing it back to almost nine thousand years ago. Wow. Yeah, bro. Because I mean, that's a theory for some people in religions that believe that it was it was this the sons of God, the ain't the fallen angels that introduced man to weaponry. So in another sense, I mean, that would completely agree with what you're saying. Just different names of the people and shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Where we at right now? We're at 24 minutes. 24. 45. Kill a squad till I die. What else we got? I don't 
know, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like five planets in retrograde. Supposedly the Mayan calendar ends tomorrow with the Gregorian calendar and not the Julian calendar. So hopefully some cool shit happens tomorrow. Or I mean, at best, it's a normal day. I mean, just waking up is positive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what happens with that. I woke up in 2012 waiting for some shit to happen and well. Me too, happen. bro. I watched that movie too. Yeah. Shit, that, shit out of me too. I, that movie was so, it's so dope, but it's so unrealistic. The guy survived all that shit, bro. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he would have died. So and what did they end up surviving it? Do you remember the ending? They went to the shit. There's like the rich, quote unquote, elite. I thought that got crash landed too. Or I thought that got sunk. Only one of them survived. There was like nine ships. Uh, and the, luckily the one that he got on and his kids isn't that is, such lucky <laughs> that's the one that survived <laughs> I mean I, and you know I think there's some truth to it like in the bible it says in the end days uh, the evil man will try to hide in the mountains and that's kind of like similar you know and then when I when, did you ever see the Denver airport conspiracy yeah yeah the mural. you see the fucking murals and shit that yeah. are over there yeah and then, like there's like, underground tunnels and this all so they're and planning. that the the landing strips on it sh is in the shape of a swastika oh i didn't know that yeah if you look at it, all the landing strips will if you take an aerial view of the whole complex it, it looks like a swastika it's fucking weird and it's probably not the swastika like the old ancient one it's probably the nazi not swastika like it's probably in the direction of the nazis i think they flipped it right because the original swastika is from like a asian Meant peace Tibetan. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And the Nazis took it and corrupted it. Uh, what if that's like a portal? Like, what, what if that's swastika sign and they do like, you know how they always show like if people do the, the pentagram and then they summon a demon? What well, they, I mean, what I look they do that shit with swastikas. Well, when you see the swastika, you see it everywhere in, in a lot of different cultures. I mean, it, it's yeah, everywhere. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't look at it as like maybe a. A, it's a symbol, but I think it's a symbol of a certain like bloodline, in my opinion. Mm. I don't think it's more of like, like alien bloodline. Maybe? I think it's yeah, it's like how the eagle or or certain different types of animals or symbols of, of religions and stuff. I think like like crests for uh, like the royal families and shit. Yeah. I think th those certain animals like a lion or a wolf, like they put them on these emblems. I do believe that you know the swastika was was another symbol for you know an emblem of right, some right, sort right, for a right. family. Oh, um, bloodline. Have y'all done any research into like sacred geometry, the flower of life? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start researching that. Maybe I'll talk about that next time a little bit. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It is, like bro. Like the way it, and it everything. It's in everything, from man to plant to everything, bro. Yeah, it's crazy because they say when uh, the Jack and I watching porn over here. Well, what's up, man? Enlighten us. What you talk about? I mean, what you learning about? Hillary and torture. Oh, oh God. <laughs> break us down, anything. bro. We're on a positive right now. But uh, it's crazy because they say when with the flower of life no. that if you, that when the seed or when the sperm meets the egg, that there's a spark. And that when it starts to multiply and whatnot, it, show, like, it, it looks like the, the seed of life in the, in the, yeah. Uh, I'll say one more thing before we stop because I think being a, wants to research some shit. He wants to listen to stuff on no, YouTube. No, just read this shit. Read this like, shit. I got loud? You can. <laughs> we're, we're in the middle of a podcast. Well, so, uh, I was just going to say that, you know, whenever there was science experiments, when you say positive shit and you freeze it, and you say negative shit and you freeze it, and the positive shit looks like all symmetrical, like the, sphere, like the flower of life, mm -hmm. and the negative shit's all disorganized. And that's why when somebody said, like, the other day, you were joking, but you called me up. It was a bad word, right? <laughs> oh but I God. felt it, bro. I was like, Phew. Like, it was like a little hit, right? Like, I know he was just joking and shit, but it's weird how words have power. You know, if I haven't matured, Chris, and I haven't started caring about other people's feelings, I would still call you the same word. <laughs> you do it on the podcast, right? I, 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 I would do it. If we wouldn't get canceled and shit. Yeah. I, I mean, we can still say I care it. about other people's feelings, you know? Yeah. No, no, no. It's a negative term. I shouldn't use it. Yeah. yeah. You ever heard about the water experiments done by the Japanese guy? The Japanese, like, he was a... I guess he's a... I, I guess you could say he's a social scientist. Uh -huh. But he, he did these experiments on water... And that's what he found out too. He found out that like, you know, you, you can take different, you know, different different water drops, different parts. And if you say the good, like <clears throat> mean things to it, it'll come out all crooked. Right. On, and on, on the microscope, right? You, you'll see. Yeah. Unsecured. But if you say good things, you know, but on the microscope, it's like a 
perfect. Yeah, it's like beautiful. And, if, and people have done these experiments, like with I think I've seen them with like rice. You put rice, and then and then like it molds faster. It goes bad faster if it, if you say negative shit, and it stays better longer if you if you don't. And and real science has done that experiment too, bro. Also, I've been learning a little bit about uh, I guess it's telepathy. To telepathy, but it's kind of like whenever sometimes me and you or just anybody yeah, that you're real bro, close this to, a lot lately. you have you have like oh you try to and it's and it's like yeah I think if you fo I think as we get older maybe we practice more to be able to focus. Maybe that's why we're both old and we, we we were on the same level like that. Maybe, but I mean I have that same like with my sister. But I grew up with my sister too, and I guess we're kind of close to the same age. I don't have it with him. And then uh, with animals, I feel like I have it with animals sometimes. And they say there's there's like an experiment with that spiritual science thing that if you sit there with an animal and you uh, eventually, I don't know how you do it, but eventually once you connect a little bit, you can think about something and try to like visualize sending it to them and they might react. And then you know, you're like, but I mean, in, in a sense, even if you're not doing that, you can always, it's, it's well, think about it. Dog, dogs, I probably cats too, right? I know dogs can feel emotion. Because, you know, yes, a dog knows, very receptive. ever since I was a kid, you know, a dog, you could tell a dog knew when you were scared. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's why they're the easiest ones to communicate with, the, according to the, like, cats are a little bit hard. Maybe that's why they vibe so easy with little babies and little kids, you know what I'm saying? Bro, there's something to dogs, right? Like, oh, yeah, the way they're I, man's best friend. I, I think there's something to, oh, you see, see the way you said that. You know, the, they're supposed to be our sun, the star that we revolve around, right? right? right. They're supposed to be a star that the serious. sun revolves around. Yeah, 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 serious, serious. They're supposed to be a star that, that the sun revolves around, it's supposed to be serious. You know right. what they call serious? The dog star. Yes, yes. See, yes, and, yes. It, and, and, and it would make, it would be like almost how it is as above, so below. Here on Earth, the dog is man's best friend. And yes. here on space, the sun, our sun, is 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 basically its best friend is a dog star. And this might be completely random, but spelled dog backwards. God. Dun dun dun. <laughs> yeah. that, that 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 would be so cool if God came to us, and that'd be like the image that everybody. That's where I'm from. I'm from Sirius. He's like air, he comes back as like Air Bud or a fucking well, you know, dog or some shit. What are dog? What do all dogs do? Protect us. They do. A lot of dogs become protectors. A lot of dogs. You've and heard, they have hypersensitivity. Yeah. Bro. And you've heard miracle stories of dogs rescuing people and shit like that. Like yeah, man. Even yeah. like the sheep dogs, they rescue sheep and shit. You know who doesn't rescue people? Fucking cats. I'm just saying. No, there's cats that do. You know what a cat has done to me? Pissed on my fucking tickets that I wanted at a. Uh, you probably deserve it. I remember this shit. What kind of tickets? Okay? Oh yeah, yeah. Nicaragua is where I nah. went to. I earned, my, I earned those fucking tickets. Bro, he won like two hundred tickets. He went ham that day. But you can still use them. Just let him drive. I mean, but the, but cat Man, piss, fuck bro. That. bro there's no. a reason why the strain called cat piss is called cat piss and not. Oh, dog. ammonia is like yeah, strong, yeah. Bro. That cat piss is like yeah. You have to look like bro. That's just bad. There's something to cats too, but the reason I say they can save because there was this one time I saw a video on YouTube where this dog was trying to take this little kid away. And this cat ran out of nowhere, hit the dog, and then the kid got free. So I mean, it's rare, but it it happens. It's not as easy, probably, for them to. Cause you know what? Some, I, I saw I seen this video of cats. They have reflexes that are on another level, right? They can they can they can they can be in the dark. You can put Lego on the floor. Ninjas. Yes, but you know what? But why they always knock shit over? It's because they want to. Yeah, because they're fucking assholes. They can be they're assholes. They're fucking assholes. Because you know, a lot of people aren't good owners. They, they don't feed them well. They don't they don't have, study how to play with them. A lot of people think cats are just supposed to be like that. But you're supposed to spend time with a cat like you spend time with a dog. Yeah, like today we went to go visit my sister-in-law's cat to go feed him. Because my sister my sister in law at a time with her kids, right? Right. And yeah, the cat, he probably isn't used to no one being there. Because my sister my sister in law has like four kids, right? Four kids and a husband and all that shit. So they probably play with the yeah, cat and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one was always there. But they've been gone for about a day and a half. And we showed up, like my wife and I, uh, that cat was like, I'm like, talking to you. Yeah, yeah, like, man, where, you, where's everybody at, man? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Why am I, why am I, yeah, my yeah, people? Yeah, 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 you yeah, killed yeah. them? Yeah. <laughs> where the fuck are they? You, you know that like, confused look they get? Yeah. yeah like, he, had, he had on the whole time. Bro, they talked to I got a couple cats in the back. They be talking to me. I'm like, and I can kind of say, you hungry? You want milk? Like, he means cats in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's crazy, bro. And like the other day, I don't know if I told you, I pet a field mouse. It was in, in front of my house. Ooh, I heard pedophile for a second. I was uh, like, what? I pet a field mouse. Let me it's crazy. punctuate. It's crazy. And How I, the I know the field mouse, not a regular mouse. I don't know. I just, how did you, <laughs> like how did you pet a field mouse? All right, so it was just there chilling, right? And I was watching it, and it was just chilling, and it didn't really run away from me. And so I like I went, I just pet his head. I was like, oh shit! And then like I picked it up, and he just jumped out of my hand. I was like, hope, don't bite me. 
But it was cute as fuck, and then he didn't like go away. I kept paying him. I went to go get some string cheese, but he didn't eat that. Huh? You know, yesterday was so funny. Yesterday he was he was posted up outside talking to his mom about spaghetti for lunch, and then I looked out the window, and we both at the same moment looked on the ground. There was this, this squirrel. And he was galloping, bro, like bam, bam, like a, like oh my god, right? <laughs> bro. It, was, it just we just bam, bam, and I was like, oh, all right. It was funny though, bro. I never seen a squirrel gallop like that. Squirrels bro. are trippy, bro. Bro, like cat dogs. On, the, on the way home that same day, I was watching a squirrel running on a power line. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, he was running fast. It was getting attacked by a fucking bird. Oh. But, but you gotta wonder about squirrels, right? Because a lot of them seem to just want to kill themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because how many times have you driven by a squirrel where you let it go across the street and it looks like it just wants to run right back? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. No, bro. I just saved your life. Stop. You know right. what I'm saying? Don't kill me. Like maybe he owes money to the <laughs> to the squirrel, yeah, uh, to the squirrel to the king, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. to the fucking raccoon king. Go it's right. like a raccoon. Damn. You can write a book with this right now. Hell <laughs> <laughs> you. A fucking comic book, bro. Hell yeah. Graphic yeah, novel, yeah, son. Yeah, that's the way to go. Graphic novel. Yeah, fuck them kids. You do comic books for adults. Well, graphic novels for everybody. Ah, yeah. All right. Well, kids cool, too. We love kids. We love kids. Right. Man, bro, that, that shit's crazy. But yeah, and my mom, so I told my cousin, and my cousin immediately, he said, man, you smoke too much weed. About the cat thing? About or? the mouse. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, from regular man, people, it's like, like a hippie would do that. But I was like, nah, bro, I'm connected. Yeah, you're in tune with nature and the world around you. Is that you, Dr. Doolittle? Is that what that <laughs> movie is? You yeah. Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with Ed's uh, parrot, the Grand Macaw, they're so surprised that the parrot lets me pet him. Her. But we're like, we're, she likes me, bro. It's, it's animals. Yeah, I think gotta, the spiritual thing. Nicer. Nicer? Yeah, I don't know why they call it. Yeah, same thing that? I don't know. Jeez, Louis, nicer. You spell it the way I think you spell it? N I C E R? I get it. Like, be nicer, nicer. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but she, uh, she talked. And those, uh, they live long, bro. Parents? Yeah, they, they, can live, they can live like 100 years or some shit. You live too long. And they, dolphins. What? Y'all think dolphins are aliens? Yes, because yeah. because because uh, I heard I, I've I've heard you know how seashells you see the them sand like, dollars yes the sand dollars yeah I heard that apparently they're made by the special abilities of dolphins you know what I'm saying like their frequencies and, and they improve oh oh and it's like memory this right? goes back to what I told you about the water right okay so the same way imagine this because this supposedly what I what I was told all right so the same way that I said that when you speak to that water in good ways right. it creates beautiful patterns right? right so what apparently these dolphins do is they go and put their good vibrations into brain. into these shells and they create these beautiful shells and they send them out and apparently if you take them you take them take them home you you it's almost like you're, you it's almost like a video camera for the dolphins right if you know you're able saying? to probably to hook up with your third eye and, and like a crystal ball for the dolphins right, right? they can see you like like I can't say Sauron because you haven't seen Lord of the Rings I'm gonna go take the leave all right where we at bro 37 minutes we are in my apartment <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> Today we have a special guest. Uh, her name is Cindy Lou. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear it. She's a glass mouse. <laughs> but she's pretty cool people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any other animals I petted that were weird. I mean, you might have like that synchronicity towards animals. Like, you could probably be like a, like an animal whisperer. Yeah. Type of shit. That's pretty, yeah. Make some money off this shit. Nah, I'd rather make money off a podcast and then rapping. <laughs> oh, it's over? Oh, no, well, no, we, we're we can. Wrong. We were just talking about, like, oh. he said I could make money. Oh, because he says that at the end of pop. I was like, yeah, yeah, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my good vibe phrase in. All right, so we're not good buying? Uh, uh, we were just talking about, he was saying I can make money off of uh, <laughs> animal whispering, and I said, nah, I'd rather make money off a podcast and then rapping. Speaking of animals, you started reading that jungle book? I have not. Man, you you get to you gonna you gonna you gonna love it. Invisible cast member, where you going? I introduced her a little bit. Oh, okay. And she kind of said hi, but Invisible I don't know if that here. Invisible cast member. I called her Cindy Luke. I didn't know if she wanted to go by her. Because they call her at the work too. Yeah. The fuck trying to throw me the dog cast over here. FYI, <laughs> Romo's over here trying to throw me the dog cast. This is off the this, this is off the podcast. Romo. Instigator. It was a clear black moon. That's the wrong word. Clear black moon. Yeah, it's clear black so, night. You got it. You bright got white it. moon. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear it, I know all the words. Yeah, that's how it'll be, right? You know it's saying? like next Friday. when As soon as the movie starts, you know every line. Right. <laughs> if I'm trying to recite it. I yeah. Can't. My, I, I think it starts off with them coming up, but yeah. yeah. My uncle and my aunt, the two younger ones of my mom's siblings, they had La Bamba. They had it to a T. They would yeah. recite it to each other. Yeah. 
That's how you know back kids nowadays. There's probably less kids that are gonna memorize movies and shit because you don't have to rewatch a fucking movie. Back in the day, you had like five VHS. You're gonna rewatch that motherfucker almost every day. Yeah, I'm trying to think of shit I might have remembered, like just, just, just like stuck Fasa. in. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's one. I, everybody. Oh, the the lion, the the Aladdin scene in the beginning where homeboy gets eaten up by the like the the the, the lion the, the lion shaped sand thing. Remember? Oh, bro, that scene sticks in my head forever, bro. And they brought me flashbacks. Yeah, I forgot right? about Cause that. Because he was walking in all boop boop boop, and then he grabbed it and everything went. Oh, oh, that yeah. line, oh, that's some Indiana Jones here yeah, right there, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, by the way. People, can, here's one thing I never understand. Okay, we understand that most artifacts in the world that are in museums have been stolen. Oh, okay. well, not only that, but are, stolen, been, are yeah. cursed and have been stolen, right? But yet, everyone loves this art, this Indiana Jones guy whose job is to go and steal artifacts from other countries, probably, bro. What do you think? He just goes into this this cave and he's gonna just explore it and leave it there? Nah, For like bro. country to get yeah. some money so that's people can go visit that's them that's in what the I'm museum. Saying, bro. Yeah, I like to get to the British Museum and, and sold it yeah, for a million dollars. Yeah, if you saw in Black Panther, what, what did the villain say the, to, the, to the museum lady? She's like, you can't steal these these uh, these, these these valuable you know museum pieces. He goes, how you think y'all got it? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Killmonger. Yeah, so was, I feel like. So I never really, I never really fuck with Indiana Jones. It's like, yeah. he's just another, yeah, he, he just another thief. I always found it boring. That's why I didn't know it, but now that's cool that he said that. That's another reason why I never will fuck with it. Yeah. Yeah. He's better as Han Solo anyway. Okay. What's that Han Solo? Yeah, it's the same guy. Harrison Ford. Know. He was also the Fugitive. That's a good movie. I see that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that so. Fugitive was a good movie. Yo. When I, I saw that when I was a kid, I still, even when I was a kid, all these guys are acting their asses off. Yeah, bro, that's a that's a great movie. When he jumped out of the thing, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh man. What about? Did you like Enemy of the State? Is that Will Smith? I never yeah. saw that one. Nah. I heard it was good. I think with Jack Nicholson or something. Jack Nicholson was in that. I'm not. I might be wrong. I might be lying. It's some, some other old white guy. You should watch it though. That's a good one. Enemy of the State. What's it about? Why is he in trouble? Why is he the enemy of the state? So somebody, uh, somebody who's trying to get. Away, he's like has like. Let's say for instance, he's like a Snowden character, right? And he Will has Smith is like a Snowden. No, that's that's Will Smith. Oh. There's this white guy. Oh, okay. And he has like this, and he's like, uh, hey man, I need your help, they're coming to get me. And he's like, what? I'm just like, he's just some random, Will Smith is like some government random worker, right? And so the dude like leaves it in his bag, but he doesn't know. And then he runs and he ends up getting killed, the white guy. So Will Smith, you know, he goes home, he has his shit, and then people are starting to try to kill him. And then his guy, just because of this information he has, but he doesn't understand why. And then this is this is all too close to how shit is right now. Real, real yeah. Time. And then this guy tries to help him and he's like, this could be how it all started. It's a dope movie. Sounds dope. Like, like, and it's crazy, and I know because you explained it, that China bought Hollywood, basically, but movies used to be so original. Like, there was no five, six, seven, eight. You know, there was the trilogy, and oh, that's yeah. it. Bro. Oh, yeah, I, I talked about this. You know, that that's how you can tell that Hollywood is not American, because one thing I tell you about Americans, we are ingenious. We have original ideas. Especially you know, when it comes to, like, we're the best actors yeah. and shit. I mean, yeah. We I'm have not, the best music. Yeah. I mean, that's why everybody wants to come over here eventually, you know what I'm saying? But you, you gotta make it, if you make it anywhere, you gotta make it America, right? You know what I'm saying? No hate to any other country, but America's where it's at, right? It is, it is. Hey, hey. All right, anyhow, I have to have a bald eagle in the back screen. <laughs> nah, that sounds more like a... Uh, Chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're not friends. Anyhow, uh, like, like, uh, oh, damn. Yeah, so, yeah, but basically, when you started seeing nothing but sequels and nothing but them taking older movies and remaking them, like, mm. like for example, if you're, one of the, if you're one of the people that bought into all of these real-life Disney reboots, like, uh... Oh, like, they fucked the line. Like, 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 sure. like, like, uh, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, these movies are horrible. Like, I remember how people... I love, I used to love anime, like, hardcore, right? Right. And I remember when they started with... I, this is one thing that every anime watcher should know. When they decide to turn your anime into a, into a real live action flick, which they do with almost all of them in Japan, it's gonna uh, it's gonna be shitty. It's gonna suck. I like don't Dragon even, Ball. Don't even waste your time, right? Yeah. So yeah, Dragon Ball. Thank you. Oh, all right. Man. So anyhow, so 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 when they keep doing this here in America and people started buying it, like, oh we have a remake or so, I'm like, bro, y'all are just been brainwashed. They are, bro, and it's for the nostalgia, but it's a bunch of bullshit. It's just terrible. Speaking of Will Smith, I hate I hate how he just hoard himself out there as a genie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was funny. In Aladdin, the remake. Yeah, Will Smith isn't what he used to be, but also the movie options aren't what they used to be either. 
I feel like he acted his ass off like for those three years straight where he had like, all those movies yeah, like Iron Legend. Day. No, wait, no, Iron oh, Legend. Oh, Iron Legend. Know. He oh. went on a streak. What's that? What he was in Hero? Happiness. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hancock. Uh, Hancock. Hancock was pretty dope. Remember, it's the, the Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit everyone happiness loves that. Everyone loves that. Movie. Not gangster movie, but it was. You know, yeah. It's, it's gangster for your like motivation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real gangster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Card and shit. So, yeah, it's, it's like Matthew McConaughey. Like, he acted his ass off for those three or four years in those movies and True Detective, and he ain't done shit since. You know, like, these guys gave all they could for those years, and that was yeah. it. They were great. Yeah. I mean, because it does take a toll, bro, when you're acting like that. I was just watching a podcast with some actors from that uh, Last Kingdom, the Vikings, and they say that the scenes that are the hardest or that drain them the most are when they have to be, like, angry and sad and shit, because you have to really tap into that emotion. And you go home and you're just fucking just drained and shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's they're actors and making millions of dollars, but it is what it is. Yeah. And Lynn played my little violin. Tiny guys. I'm so sorry that your job of acting and not having to do any hard work is so. <laughs> no, nah, but they're they're trained fighters and shit. Like a real good actor is trained in fighting, is is fit, it does all these things so that they make it look realistic. Like Tom Cruise, he does all his own stunts. Yeah. I, I don't like Tom because of Scientology, but that's legit though. He's a great actor, you know. Yeah. I can't fault him for being tricked into it and brainwashed. And it's it's only cool. a human. Yeah. He was young when he got into it. Promises, so many promises. Yeah, I mean, he probably got all that. Yeah, you know, he probably got all of them. Maybe they drained him, maybe they drained King. Bro, I saw a picture of Cher. She looks younger now than she ever did before. Oh yeah, that bitch is also drained the King. Dang. And, and the, you know, you can say plastic surgery, but plastic surgery don't look that good, bro. Nah. It does not look Yeah, she's like 80, bro. Bro, and she looks fucking young. She was young. old when I was little. Like, when I was she's like been 10, old as fuck forever. Like Madonna. Man, bitch, you've been old since, like, since I was born. But, but yeah. Madonna looks worse. Like, Cher just looks like, damn, bro, they took care of her. Like, she's got, you know, she got them hoes on dicks. Maybe, maybe she's at the top of some food chain. Yeah, 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 yeah maybe, for she, sure. maybe that's why, you know? She, yeah. gets, she gets all the adrenaline. Sometimes. She's like she's like one of the first people that gets. It. She might have been. I mean, she, she's been in the industry since like the seventies. Well, right? I just mean like when, like when everybody gets there around, she's on the top of the list. You know, if you want to talk about conspiracy, what if Sonny's bone already run into a tree? What if he got taken out by Cher, or maybe he knew something? You know what I'm saying? Maybe Cher. We, we they want to say loud. He's like, nah. She's remember, like, you gotta get rid of him. Remember that documentary we watched with the Awakening and, and all those all the people who were into this evil art and evil stuff? These women uh, artists. Remember? Oh, the art. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What if what if Cher was one of the women? Cause you know you know who else I think is one of those women that whores out there who child who does traffics their daughters is uh, the Kardashian mom. Yeah. And Hell I, yeah, bro. She sends them to Saudi Arabia, Dubai, and shit. And I think the Kardashian mom and Cher might actually be like, man, I bet you that. Like first cousin. I, I think there's something. some connection there. Yeah. I would not be surprised. You know what I'm saying? What well, shit? I mean, Bush and I mean, it's proven that Bush and, and Hefner are fucking like second and third cousins or some shit. Hefner's gone now, right? Did he die already? It's, yeah, he died. It, it's crazy. Someone mentioned it. A, a lot of this shit started popping off, like, you know, naming names of Hollywood when, when he went out. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe this dude was at the top of some food chain, too. Remember, this guy was the Playboy guy. He was the... Who he knows? probably yeah, raved. Yeah, he I was mean, probably the Weinstein. I mean, yeah, he was probably the pimp. He, he, all those girls he had in the yeah. Playboy. You know, he might, you know, yeah. He, yeah, basically, uh, bro. Basically. Basically. They're like, we just gotta wait for Heather to die, man. He probably had a lot of a lot of people. He's been around since a long time too. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's yeah. how a lot. Of he was still fucking, bro. You know he. Oh yeah. He had probably, some kind of. Yeah, yeah. You know, he had all he too. Yeah. That's bananas, bro. Yeah. You know what? It's exciting though. Like when I go to somebody's page, like Chris Tucker's page, and 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 somebody, you go in the comments, somebody will ask, "Hey, can you explain why you were in Epstein's Island?" You know, people are waking up, bro. You know, and it's it's. It is what it is, but uh, it's dope, bro. It's dope because it's crazy how last week I was the opposite of where I am now. Like I was real negative. Yeah, it's amazing what just a week can do, right? What knowledge, yeah. wisdom, and information? Because you see, it's not just about it's about you being able to remember. We talked about cognitive last episode. We talked about cognitive discipline. It's about you being able to to accept new ideas that actually go against what you thought for your a beliefs, while. Yeah. And 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 and. And you not being able to take the facts and not not be like, oh my God, that's not what I believe. That's not what I was told. So fuck that. Nah, right, you right. you you were able to take all this information pretty easily, way easier than I thought. You know, yeah. I, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have waited as long to, to put you on this. You know, you were you were, you were way more ready than I thought. How about that? I appreciate that, man. Right. But I do also feel like 
maybe it happened when it was supposed to. Yeah, because the girl she's been going down this week. Look at the you know we just well, we spent two and a half hours watching all those. You know. And then and then if it really is you know the end of the mind calendar. Well, tomorrow is the summer solstice, six twenty-one. It's no, oh, yeah, summer solstice. Yeah, yeah. There's four solstices. You got three twenty-one. That's the spring solstice, and then you got the winter solstice. Uh, winter solstice is twelve twenty-one. Yeah, but it's every three months. So three twenty-one, six twenty-one, uh -huh. and nine twenty-one is the fall solstice, and then you got the winter solstice is mm -hmm. twelve twenty-one. Wow. Yeah. See, you know, you know where I learned about the solstices, Santos Bonacci. Like uh, I said, he, he all he did was draw a circle with the wave, and he explained how many different things you can you can just with that figure out. You can figure out the seasons. You can figure out how the, the zodiac. You can figure out how the planets move. He, everything, bro. Everything's like a circle. Bro. Yes. Even like the the, the cloud sign, of life. But it's that sine wave. That's the big one. Mm. You know, that sine wave. You know. I need to watch that video. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, just, just just go look on any Santos Bonacci video where he's he's drawing something, cause that's it. If he's drawing something, he's explaining it. Trust me. Bro. Yeah, yeah. But that's how when he the way he explained the court system, how connected to the Vatican, I was like, damn, like it was it was fire, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It put a spark in your soul when you learn some shit like that, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah you mean, he always, he always made me feel like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like his hair, but fuck it. He's wild. He's wild, <laughs> man. Once you, once you read a certain part, you're just like, you don't give a fuck, I guess. I don't know if I could ever be that way. Now, I still want to look a little bit good so people can listen to me, but at the same time... I mean, yeah, he, he basically... I, he's one of the guys that isolate himself too much. You know, he, he stopped giving a fuck about, well, you know, should I, should I, should I look? Yeah, you know what? It's probably best that you have this extreme information that you try to look as normal as possible, right? You know what I'm Yeah, because then otherwise you're just going to isolate yourself I can, more. Yeah, and you look crazy. Now, now you're not, just going to write yeah, you off. Now not only is it telling me crazy, but you look crazy doing it at the same time, you know? I was also... one uh, At least one last thing. Uh, they're talking about... The way when they go back to school, the kids, how some people, the more liberal side of things, they want um, they want the kids to be like six feet apart at all times, or just not even have to go to school. So that would make like they're gonna be anti-social as fuck. They're gonna be their immunity is not gonna be as high because you're supposed to build immunity. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be weird as fuck, bro. It's like it, ten kids per class, six feet. It's gonna be weird, but they're assuming I guess that most kids are gonna stay home, and because they're they're gonna get the option. You can either stay home full time, like how they were doing, uh, you know, at the end of the school year, or you can go to school full time. You can't go back and forth to pick one because you know some parents are gonna be like, oh, well, today I'll send them over there, and, but then they're gonna have to worry about the grade and the shit. So it'll be interesting, bro. But yeah, that, that <clears throat> it doesn't really make sense building immunity and all that stuff. What would you make your kid do? Would you make him go or stay home? Uh, I would let him decide. I think he wants to go back. He misses his friends. Yeah. And I think it would be better for him to go back. I think a lot of these kids, it's just big. Remember, they're kids, right? Their lives aren't complicated. They don't care about They're like, I just want to see my homies. And these aren't even the ones that are susceptible to the fucking thing, bro. It's the old fucks. Forgive me, I love old people, but it's the old, it's the old people that shouldn't be going to school. <laughs> you we're, know? We're, we're old fucks. Nah, we're not that old. <laughs> Chris did not like it. Like, no, 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 wait a minute. No. I'm old. Man, I'm not old. His face is like, hold on, bro. I, like, I, 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 I had to confuse that. <laughs> Chris is like, I'm older, not old. <laughs> That's what he said. I'm older, not old. I'm I'm 31, bro. I mean, I'm, I feel young as fuck. Man, why'd you stutter, bro? You said. Because oh, I forget. <laughs> I forget if I'm 30 or 31 <laughs> or 30. Two is next year. You sound like Squidward over there. Here lies my hopes and dreams. <laughs> man, I used to be Squidward. <laughs> man, you see they try to make SpongeBob gay and shit. Man, bro, oh, man, how about and, how about? And then even the creator's like, he's a sponge, bro. The creator did, remember? Yeah, I know, but before that, he said he's asexual. Yeah, he died young, bro. Maybe it took him out. I know. A lot of money in the SpongeBob. Uh, he made way more money now than if he was alive. And he didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he didn't want to do. He didn't want to whore out SpongeBob. He's like, I did it. He was a he was an actual scientist and shit, bro. Really? He did, yeah, he was a marine biologist. Really? Yeah. He wow. died like at thirty yeah. something. You went deep on this one, huh? Uh, I I mean, I, cause I was I had learned about it. I don't know why. Yeah, I bet we could look up. Look, we could probably research like a lot of and probably find one more than we want. Man. Just, that, just the one about that producer guy who was supposedly a little pedophile that got locked up. The vice president. Bro, the yeah. conspiracies on these on these Nickelodeon shows are just too out of out of but like oh. the one on the Rugrats. One day and, I need to hey, really? Bro, it's I feel like those up. are some of the realest shows. Like now they're all like. Nah, th th apparently the story behind it is kind of like real fucked up. Pixar, have you seen the Pixar theory that all the movies connect? 
all the Pixar movies, like it's like an apocalypse. That's why it's only cars that are living and then this Wally and they put them all together. And like the girl from Monsters Inc, she's in uh, Enchanted and the doors. Hey. You saying it's all canon? Yeah, yeah. Damn. The way my sister showed me, it's like, like it's, a it's like that's like a fun. How long has Disney been around? You talking about like a no Pixar? Oh, Pixar. How long? Just the animated ones. How long they been making movies? Toy like Story. Nineties. Toy Story one came out in ninety six, I think. So you talking about a uh, long canon, like nineties, yeah. like yes, man. And supposedly they planned out most of the movies in one session. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do, because you see Hollywood, they they have movies planned out to twenty twenty four already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what? Earlier this year, I was thinking these fools plan this shit out like, like, like they're gonna, like, like shit's gonna keep going on. Yeah, look like, what happened. Like, yeah, look what happened. The fucking industry shuts down. They Everything work. shut down, bro. Ain't no one trying to do shit. What the time we're living in, bro? Yep. You think time's going forward? <laughs> 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 I don't know, bro. I feel like it is. I feel like time is moving a little fast. I wonder what the fans or anybody else out there think. I guess already 10 o'clock. It feels like it should barely, like, barely be like maybe 9.30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I feel like I just got here, son. For real, bro. Damn. Yeah. I guess we should wrap it up. What time we at? We got 55 minutes. Damn, that's a long episode, uh, man. Uh, I, I don't even think when people go. We were going to end this, this like, what, 20 minutes ago, and we just kept on going. That normally happens anyways. Last time was our shortest one. I was yeah. looking at the, at the list. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. This will be on a longer one. There you go. Yeah. All right, everybody. Peace, love. That was episode what? Uh, 18. 18. Episode 18. Uh, gelato yeah. number something. I think it's number five. Damn. I think we've done four gelatos already. <coughs> I might be wrong. Gelatos are some of my favorite episodes. Yeah, we always have long episodes when it's gelato. Gelato, there's, yeah. yeah. Remember in the beginning, I was like, something with the strains and shit. And now we're going to start seeing. Gelato part one. Gelato part well, now two. Now we're gelato part five. Gelato the return. Gelato Damn. the return of the return. <laughs> gelato yet again. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, gelato reboot. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'll, just write, I'll just keep adding on to the name. Yep. We just call it the gelato for like part 10. <laughs> gelato Jr. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Alright, uh, uh, that was episode whatever he said, Lotto. Yeah, episode 18, y'all. Peace. Peace, love. Happiness. Yay, yay. Blah, blah. <laughs>